Hi guys, my name's Olivia and I'm from the Student Liaison Team at the University of South Australia. Congratulations on receiving your offer to study with UniSA. You have taken the first step towards your unstoppable career. Well done. This video is designed to walk you through the all-important My Enrolment process. First things first, log into your student portal, also known as My UniSA. This will become a central reference point throughout your studies. It is where you will find your student email, academic results, personal details and so on. It might be handy to bookmark this page. But if you forget to, it's just one click away from the homepage. Once you've logged in, on the left hand side under Portal Links, click on My Enrolment. At the top of your My Enrolment screen, you may see a date in blue. This is the date your enrolment opens. If your enrolments have already opened, then this will be blank, like this screen, and you can commence enrolling straight away. There are three steps to the enrolment process. View your enrolment advice and plan your timetable. Complete your enrolment checklist, and then finally, enrol. Now, let's have a look at each step to get you started and then enrolled. If your courses aren't yet open for enrolment, don't worry. You can still complete step one and two in advance, which will make enrolment easier when it opens. Step 1. View your enrolment advice. At the top of your My Enrolment screen, click on the tab called My Enrolment Advice. Under My Program Enrolment Advice, click on the Enrolment Advice button. You will be taken to a landing page containing your enrolment advice. Find and select your program, year or study period in which you are enrolling. Within your enrolment advice, you'll see the courses you are required to study within that year of your program. All enrolment advice documents are customised to your program, so don't worry if yours looks a little different to the one on the screen. First thing to do is note down the relevant study period and for each course, the course subject area and catalogue number. These will be required for enrolment. On your enrolment advice, you should see a list of class options. These are also outlined on the class timetable. Click on the link in your enrolment advice. On your timetable, look for your enrolment options. Some courses may have both an internal and external option. Pick the option that is right for you. Within each option, there will be a series of classes you need to enrol in, such as lectures, workshops, practicals and tutorials. This example shows that for the on-campus option, there is one lecture based at City West Campus. The class number is 23230 and it is scheduled on a Monday at 12.10pm. There is also a workshop which has a few options in terms of days and times. Note down the class number you would prefer, but you may wish to include a backup option in case that class fills up. Once you've noted all the classes you plan to enrol in, keep this handy. You will need this when you come to enrol. You may also wish to download a weekly timetable planner from your My Enrolment Advice page to help you map your timetable. Return to your Enrolment Advice document and repeat this step for each course you are looking to enrol in. Step 2. Complete your enrolment checklist. Now we will take you through your enrolment checklist. You will need to complete this step before you are able to enrol. Within My Enrolment, click on the checklist tab at the top. The checklist involves a series of questions, some of which will transfer over from your SATAC application, including date of birth, mobile phone and so on. Make sure you check over these to ensure they are correct. If not, you can simply edit these details. Click on personal details to begin your checklist. However, if they are greyed out, you will need to contact Campus Central. Other sections will require you to complete new information, such as adding an emergency contact or identifying if you have any medical conditions. Go through these steps one by one. Depending on your citizenship and residency status, your checklist may ask you to complete a Commonwealth Assistance Form, also known as CAF. If you're eligible to defer your fees through the Australian Government Help Scheme, make sure you have your tax file number handy. You won't be able to defer your fees without this. For those required to complete a CAF for your academic course fees, you may also need to complete a separate CAF for your student services and amenities fees. Now that you have completed your checklist, once your courses are open for enrolment, you can head to the Manage My Enrolment tab. Step three, manage your enrolment. From your My Enrolment homepage, select Manage My Enrolment. Select the study period you are enrolling in from the drop down menu and select Add Course. Here you will be asked to select the subject area from the drop down list and enter the catalogue number. Refer to the enrolment planner you completed in step one. Now click Search. 
Find and select the class numbers you wish to enrol in. You will be able to see how many students are already enrolled in this course and whether the class is full and you need to select an alternative option. Once you're happy with your selection, click the Confirm Selected Classes button to enrol in the class. Returning to the Manage My Enrolment page, you can see your enrolled course. Repeat this process for the courses you wish to enrol in for that semester and then again for the next semester if you're really organised. And that's it, now you're enrolled. If you have any questions about your enrolment, our Campus Central team are here to help. You can call us or drop in and see us at any UniSA campus. Also, make sure you visit the New Students website for a range of other useful resources to get you started. All the best for your studies, and if you haven't already, make sure you pop orientation in your calendar. It's a great way to meet those that you'll be studying with over the next few years and get a feel for what UniSA has to offer.